and welcome to the second part of the red lipstick, red lipstick murder. Uh, we stopped right before, I guess, interrogating Jacob, right? So, okay, let's let's do that. Jacob Henry, husband of murder victim Celine Henry, movements of victim. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. All right. Death threat note. Okay. So let me review the log real fast. It says, So who could have cooked Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? Um, a bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Okay, so basically I'm trying to find out where enough he does know. The bar. And of course he does. Of course he does know. I just can't prove it. And... I can't prove because he always go because what's his face is the best friend. Um, let's see, uh, who's the best friend? The guy who wore the hibiscus. Yeah, so it has to be doubt. Has to be doubt. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. Nah. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. When she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Oh! Wow, that seemed like it was correct. It was not. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night, uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. I think we're good. I think we're good here. Truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that was so scary. I thought that was, <laughs> thought that was bad. All right. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Oh, sucker, you look away. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Big Mouth. Huh? All right, so this this type of lie. Okay, it's so easy, I think, because like, the death threat now, right? I mean, it's so. The note by the phone yeah, suggests okay. you met her harm. There are some other lies and truths that truth? are difficult. Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Uh, I think we're... Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 this is difficult, this is getting difficult. Uh, I don't have anything for lie. Uh, I don't have anything for lie, so is that a doubt or truth? But I think... I don't know. His face seems fine. 
right? Uh, yeah, his face is fine. Did a neighbor sue you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Oh, is that right? Was that right? We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her. I don't think that was right. Ah. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Whoa. Oh, 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 my, oh, okay. oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Okay, Jacob mechanic. Oh, uh, uh. What's this bunker? I won that fight and I have my hat back on? What? I have my hat back on and I won that fight? <laughs> dispatched. You check for messages. I'll keep old slugger here, company. Is he rest? Oh, he's totally be Okay. Alright, so I don't think that was right. I think I got the last question. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was wrong. God dang it. So maybe it was doubt. Operator, give me dispatch. Now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? Whoa. He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four oh two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. That he is popular. Those are a lot of messages. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Let's do Mendes' apartment. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Mendez's apartment, 10.36 a.m. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? Let's see, Mendez, apartment 16. Mendez, apartment 16. Walker, Allen Wood, Robson Wood, Wolf, Dudley, Sherwood. A lot of wood live here! McGuire, Jarvis, Davis, Smith, McQuay, Thompson, Dressler, Dalton.
Apartment 16 is fourth floor. Here. The apartment's up on the top floor. Yes, it is. Third floor. Fourth floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Sparta, that bitch, just now. Hmm. Seems irrelevant. <laughs> Even though it's the same exact key. That was found in the apartment of the Henry's, of uh, Celine Henry's place, really? Really? Don't think this is anything. Gold Dawn eggs, huh? <laughs> Doesn't look like anything. Nope. Coffee cans. Doesn't tell me anything. Everything here is going to be relevant. Everyone, everyone seems to go to Captain Hogs. Everyone seems to go there. Oh, hey, it's the it's the lighters. Those are uh, glow by lighters. Are you serious? You see a gun? Are you not? Uh, you're not gonna consider it. Just wave it around. Just wave it around. Wait. Just wave it around. Oh, so Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. I like how I went for the lipstick first and not the obvious bloody weapon. No. Alright. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Oh, shoot. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Don't need to do this, Alonzo. Ladder burns. Well, he is fast. Get in and drive. Wait, what? I see him on the map. Oh, I don't even see him on the map. What's this? Hit it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's the failure. Oh no! All because I. Knew I pressed that button, but it didn't work. Urgh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. God damn it! Get after him, Cole. Come on, 
Oh, you swervy bitch. Oh! No, 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 no! Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in front. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. What? Okay. Okay, I thought I thought he kept going. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Oh man. Oh, that was crazy. Okay. Woo. All right. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demanded. Oh. Huh. Oh, that CD damages. Oh, man. The suspect is in the bag, even if he did leave Jacob's wedding in the central lockup. Oh, oh, oh! When they asked me to go to the the, um, the place earlier, the uh, police station to do the interview immediately. Oh, they were so serious about that, weren't they? They were so serious about that. God damn it! Okay, well, yeah, that's it for this case, the red lipstick murder. I'll see you in the next one. All right.